Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canada, and my home is in Canmore, Alberta. Welcome to the Creative Escape. So the Creative Escape, I'm gonna do a little bit of a fun fold, but it's simple, don't worry, it's not complicated, but it adds a little fun to your card for sure. So before we get started on that, I would like to celebrate people who gave last week's technique a try. So we had Karen. Karen's been a, you know, workhorse. She's been uh, submitting her pictures each week and I love that, love, love, love. And then we had a new person give it a try this week. So Lois, hooray for you. Um, congratulations for putting up a picture of your project that you tried. Um, so I did my little draw thing. And Karen, <laughs> you are the winner this week of the Creative Escape from last week. So I'm gonna do the same thing again this week. I'm gonna give you the entire week to try out this week's project. Put a picture on the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. Anywhere is fine, that's fine. And, um, yeah, you'll be placed into a draw for a little prize, and then I'll announce the winner at the next week's um, episode. Hello, Joyce from Kansas. Wow, nice to see you on here. How's the weather in Kansas? It's pretty cold here in Alberta. It's, I think it's oh, about minus 21-ish Celsius, so... <laughs> I don't have my, my phone's recording, so I can't check my phone to see what uh, the conversion is for, for Fahrenheit, but it's cold. <laughs> All right, so there's that, last week's winner. And then I wanted to share the Sharing Sunday winner for this week. You guys had awesome projects. I love that you post things other than cards as well. I, hey. That you all have amazing talents and amazing skills and I want to celebrate that. So thank you for sharing. Um, the winner this week is Britt. Brittany, I taught Brittany way back when. <laughs> so neat that we've kind of connected and uh, she's very creative, which I think is wonderful. So I'll be sending you a little something in the mail. All right, and then I just wanted to share a card that I received this week. Um, not handmade, but that's okay. I love cards nonetheless. Something that, you know, pops in your mail that just definitely makes you smile is wonderful. So I got a little thank you because I am on the social committee in for our condo. And I'm also, um, I do a little crafty evening once a month. And that's where everybody brings their crafty projects. And we sit around and we have drink tea and we chit chat and we do more chit chatting than, you know, actually crafting, but <laughs> that's okay. That's a huge part of crafting is being social and being, uh... hello, Sandy. Happy Monday to you too. Whew, it's a freezing over there. Yeah, uh, Joyce says it's rainy and just above freezing. So you have it pretty cold too. Rainy. Ugh. A huge fan of the rain especially around freezing hay because it gets pretty slippery yikes all right so I'm gonna flip to the screen where's my screen here this one and I'm gonna show you the measurements for this week's card so we're gonna make a gatefold card with a belly band I thought that'd be a fun new technique to try so first off you're gonna need a card base which is cut at eight and a half by five and a half and you're gonna score it not in the center today. Hello, Teresa, from rainy Oregon too. Oh man, lots of rain today. Um, so instead of scoring it in the center, we're gonna score it at two and one eighth. I know, I know. And then you're gonna flip it around and score it at two and one eighth again. And the two flaps will fold towards the middle of the card, kind of like you're opening doors. So that's how that's gonna work. And it'll all make sense once you see it. Um, you'll need a piece of coordinating designer series paper or a cardstock, either one. Um, two pieces cut at two by five and three eighths. Then for the next layer, you'll need some matching designer series paper, or you can use cardstock as well. Um, two pieces cut at one and three quarter 
inch by five and a quarter inch. <laughs> hi, Crystal. I will have to watch when I get home. No worries. Karma, hi. How do I feel? Not good. <laughs> My back is extremely sore. Thank you for asking. Yeah, um, just cold here, but I don't have to leave the house. Hey, that's that's awesome. Yeah, my back's not, I don't know, my knee is okay, but my back, i if you don't know what happened, I had a slip on, I guess it was Friday morning while I was taking out the dogs, and yeah, twisted my knee pretty good, and, and my back has been extremely sore. So I took out the big gun medication this morning, and so, so I could do this today. So if I'm a little loopy, <laughs> We're blaming it on the medication. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, we'll need a piece of cardstock cut at one inch by 11 inch, and you're gonna score it at four and a quarter, and then again at eight and five eighths. But I'll show you a little trick, trick that'll make it easier so you don't have to figure out that eight and five eighths. Um, a whisper white piece of cardstock that'll go in um, Oh, I didn't write that on there. But you might want to have a whisper white piece of cardstock that goes inside the card that you could have measured at four by five and a quarter. And then just a piece of whisper white to kind of put your sentiment on or something fun that will go on the belly band. Um, and then of course, coordinating, coordinating inks and embellishments and adhesives and all that fun stuff. So let me figure out my next screen here. Do, do, do. That was not it. <laughs> Here we go. All right. I think we're good. Okay, so this belly band business. While I was getting ready this morning, I was thinking, you know, I need a belly band. <laughs> Pretty up my belly, my, my belly rolls. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. Yep. Life, life, life. Okay, I have the envelope here and I've got a little strip that we'll decorate with later on. And get all the little items out here. Okay, so let's just place this over here. So this is our card base and it's measured at eight and a half by five and a half. And this is what I meant by, okay, so you score it at two and one eighth inch and then you flip your paper around slide it in again and two and one eighth inch that that's the easiest way that I found to kind of do that and of course I used my bone folder to you know make sure it's nice and creased creased very well um, next thing I do have I know it's whisper white but sometimes I like to make the cards a little bit stiffer so I do have a piece that's ready to go on the inside, but I think I'm going to stamp on it because that's my goal. I want to make the inside just as pretty as the outsides. Okay, so our next layer is um, our little, I, I'm i using the house, I think it's how sweet it is, designer series paper. If I'm wrong, I will be putting up a... Uh, uh, the card recipes on my blog later on today. So if uh, you need any measurements because you've missed them or you can't remember what stamp set I used or whatnot, please visit my blog and it's theartsyfartsygallery.com. Easy. All right. So here's my next layer. Now you'll see I've got this little chunk cut out of here because nobody's going to see it because we're actually coming and covering it over. So I just, you know, did a little snipping to conserve paper and we'll get started gluing. So just want to center this on the first flap. Doo, doo, doo. Now this one I did pretty snug I believe. So of course these these um, layers you can adjust by an eighth of an inch just to make it a little bit of a, a wider layer or a narrower layer. Hello, Lois. I was so proud of you for um, putting a picture of your card on for the creative escape. But guess who won? Karen won again. <laughs> My phone picked Karen. But try again. Try again. 
I was very proud of you for doing that. And you made a beautiful card. All right. There we go. So we have our two pieces. All right. No worries, Karma. Watch the replay. It'll be here forever. <laughs> have a good day. All right. So the next thing, I've got another layer that I'm going to place over top. Okay. And let's place it. So I could have used cardstock on this layer, but I have my designer series paper, so I thought, ah, let's just jazz the whole thing up. Okay, placing this down. There we go. Now, so this is it for the card base. Now we're gonna work on our belly band. And so this is that long piece that's 11 by one inch long. And so if you score it, here I'll show you with my scoring, my trimmer. So my first score, hopefully you can see this, was at four and a quarter. So I scored it. And then what I actually did, so I didn't have to measure eight and five eighths, is what I did was move this score line over to four and a quarter, and then I scored it again. Hopefully that makes sense. And then of course you're gonna fold those in, crease. You wanna have this crease on the outside because if you do it this way, it's you can't cover this piece where we're gonna be covering this. We're gonna hide it, okay? So just put some snail on this little flappy piece. Fold it back over, line everything up. And give it a little rub there. Okay, so next thing what I was gonna do is put this over top. But first, I wanna make sure all my items are on here. So I cut this out of the designer series paper and I was gonna kinda just place it on there. And remember that piece that I cut out of that center? of that flap there. I thought, oh, let's add it to the front somehow. Now, what stamps do I have? I have happy birthday. It's sure to be a fun day and time to celebrate. So what I was going to do here was stamp happy birthday and cut it out. So I have Coastal Cabana. That's a nice greeny color. Just have a scrap piece of paper here. Good, good. All right, and let me get my paper snips. Just make sure it's dry. This this color is usually pretty good for drying quickly. It's just those it's those reds. Um, those ones are pretty. <laughs> they take a little bit. And of course, you always forget, and then you got it all over your card and all over your fingers and everywhere. So I'm just snipping this apart. Here, let me get these little scraps out of the way. Hello, Jennifer. How are you this morning? And so what I was gonna do was just kind of, whoop, let's glue this on something like this. All right, so let's start assembling. Of course, this, you know, this part of the card is totally change up <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, as you'll see, I'm doing different things for the cover on that belly band. But this is kind of the main focal piece of, um, you know, what the card is. So, you want to make this little part kind of fun. So I take it Jennifer and Teresa know each other. How nice. How do you guys know each other? Do you do cards together? All right, I'm just gonna put that on there with dimensionals. And like I said, I was gonna do that happy birthday kind of sticking up. So I'm gonna use my small ones for this. So 
So are you not working today, Sandy? Here's my little happy. And let's do birthday. All right. Happy. Turn, tilt. Mm. Happy birthday. How's that? All right. So now this piece, I'm going to glue onto the belly band. You want to make sure that you just put glue. We met each other through Girl Scouts originally. Aw, oh, sweet. Sweet. You want to make sure you just put glue on the belly band. Don't put glue all over this because if you say you can see what's going to happen, right? It's going to stick to your card. So kind of just you can use a pencil if you need or I'm just going to put a little dot and a little dot and that will mean to me don't put glue outside of those dots. Okay, well glued up there. And let's place this down. Hopefully it's straight. I think so. Okay. Now, so that's going to be our belly band. A belly band is, is uh, I should show you what that is. You know what? I made my cards and I made an example. Now where did I put it? Sheesh, I forgot to show you. <laughs> Janet, hello. No words. Oh, you're so sick. Oh, that's no fun. So here's the little belly band that'll slide over top to keep it closed. So you can see what I mean by this is going to be kind of the focal. Ooh, that's tight. This is going to be kind of the focal point of the card, so you want to kind of jazz this piece up. Nope, took the day off, then remember this, and best Monday ever. <laughs> Aw, you're so cute. All right, so now I have the inside piece, and I wanted to kind of put a little jazzing. So I'm going to put, let's make a ribbon cut. Ribbon cuts always make things a little more fun, of course, right? So you start in the center, and then you cut from the outside to the middle. It's sure to be a fun day on the inside. Using Calypso Coral. How's my knee? My knee is doing decent. I can tell it's a little more loose, but um, it works. <laughs> I'm always terrified because when I f actually today marks the day, February 11th, um, gosh, how many years ago? need my calculator when I was 18 I wrecked my knee for the first time and had to have the ligament replaced the ACL and um, yeah it uh, I then I think about seven years later I wrecked it again had to have it replaced again and then I've had two more surgeries to clean out the cartilage but because there was so many you know, bone chips and whatnot roaming around there. And of course, it's Canada. You wait forever to get uh, get surgery or to see even to see the surgeon. Um, the bone chips floating around in there frayed my ligament. So it's not great to begin with. And um, so I have to be really careful. But I, so that's why I'm saying I'm just, I'm, I'm thrilled <laughs> that my knee still works. <laughs> Uh, but it's my back. My back is killing me. Um, so I don't know if I jarred it. I know my last knee surgery, I had ended up with back problems. I think because you compensate. But oh, so it's the same feeling as what I had the last time with my back. So 
I'm not too thrilled about that, <laughs> of course. But things could have been worse. There was a lovely lady that stopped to help me. So I was very grateful for that, for sure. I'm just using a little time to celebrate on the front of the envelope. And let's see our finished card. So here's the little belly band that's going to slide over top. If you have to kind of bend your card a tad. That is tight. I don't know why. Hmm. Okay. Anyways. So you could, oh, maybe even some rhinestones or something. I just added this little um, piece here and a little time to celebrate. And there's our first gatefold card with the little belly band. Isn't it cute? So yes, Janet. Oh man. You got the flu or a cold or what's happening with you? No, okay, I'm going to show you the example now. Might as well. <laughs> Better late than never. So this is the card that I first made. And of course, it's that free butterfly paper, which I love, on So Saffron. And I did a, a kind of a layer of Whisper White. I didn't jazz this up yet. And then this was my little belly band. Life is so much better with you in it. And that is from the Petal Palette stamp set. And then I just um, colored this butterfly in and um, cut it out because I didn't buy the punch. Hi, Alice. So uh, it's easy enough to cut out. And there's my little belly band. So that's kind of my, was my example. All right, moving on to the next one. I have my envelope that I'm going to set aside here. Okay. So I see I had plans. I'm going to do this right now so I don't lose this strip or misplace it or glue it to something else by accident. Um, and this is from that um, Geared Up Garage, the paper, which will be kind of fun. All right, I'm going to put this right in the center of my card. for sharing, Alice. All right, get that so. So just a reminder that this is eight and a half by five and a half. I scored it at two and one eighth, and then I flipped it and scored it at two and one eighth again. And of course you just fold it to the center like it's, you know, kind of little doors that open cold but just can't get rid of it it won't leave don't you hate those kinds oh they just wipe you out they're horrible all right and then this is going to be the next layer and I'm using so saffron and this is measured at two inches by five and three eighths inch I'll glue that down this is basic gray by the way to be a small little layer. Good, good. And we'll do the same to the other side. How are we doing on time? 10.23. Oops. Kevin must have dropped something. <laughs> Didn't sound good. Line that up to be in the center there. Lovely. And then here's this fun paper. I thought this would be a fun card to give to like a mechanic or if your you know, dad helped you out with something, mechanical, pansy man kind of stuff. <laughs> this would be a cute card. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes, okay. Oh, let me look here. Yeah, I'm going upside down. Let's try this way. And the other piece. Oh, yes. <laughs> Almost couldn't find it because I was seeing the back side of the paper. I think that works. 
Sometimes these patterns can go either way, up or down, but just checking kind of to make sure. All right, so there's our card. Now the belly band is one inch by 11 inches. Now this one I'm gonna actually put around the card just to make sure it's gonna be okay. Maybe I'll loosen it just a tad. score so this one what I did was I put it in scored it at four and a quarter then I moved this one to four and a quarter and score or move this to line up with the four and a quarter and scored again otherwise it is eight and five eighths all right so belly band time we want to make sure that the flap goes on top because it's going to get covered with something. If you go this way, this piece won't get covered. So just a little trick. There we go. And we got out everything here. Okay, so let's see how I see if I remember how I was going to do this. I assume this is an engine. I assume that this is going to go the right way. I have no clue. <laughs> and I was going to put this over top. And a little thanks. And then I was going to, let's see, put this little ribbon with that little uh, wrench, which is so cute. On the card here. So I'll we'll put some tape, or, um, snail tape behind here. Fold it over. And I think I'm going to need a little glue dot for that uh, wrench so it stays down nice and flat. Okay, oh, we got a little too much so we can always cut off the extras. Now, a glue dot a little wrench so it sits nicely. There's one side that has some detail and the other side does not so I want to make sure the little detailed side is facing up so we can see that. Okay now oh see I didn't think about that. Now you're gonna see the back of that so I'll make it a little nicer here. Or I could piece, put a piece of white over top. Let's see. Yeah, I'll do that. Then you won't see that a little bit. Now I'm guessing at this measurement. Perfect. There. Now it will be hanging out there for everybody to see. And we'll glue this. Now remember, you kind of want to mark it a little bit where you're going to put the glue because we don't want to put glue all over the back of this. Otherwise, it is not going to, your card is not going to be opening anytime soon. <laughs> okay, and we'll put this down. Kind of like this, I guess. This was my thoughts anyways. Um, and this I was going to use a uh, memento black ink, which I have over here, and I have my little thanks. Now you could also emboss this with white, that would look cute. I just thought oh, I'll go with the black on the gray. Cute. Come in. And I think I'll pop that up. Why not, right? Things look so cute when they're popped up. Now I put my dimensionals right here. Now, how does this fit with... Okay, 
so as long as I have them kind of in the center. There. And I see that I got out this, this little smudgy stamp, so I think I'm going to put that on the inside just to make some coolness. Just a little faint something, right? There. Okay. So now let's put this together. Slide the belly band on. why this band is pretty tight maybe it'll loosen up of course after a while but there in my queue different kind of shape to it but it's kind of fun a little red ribbon adds a little something different all right for the envelope what was my plan I think this was for the flap off. Everyone's quiet today. It's all Monday morning, eh? So have you sent out Valentine's this year or are you uh, foregoing Valentine's? Do you have anything planned for Valentine's Day? Thank you, ladies. Okay, and then I was going to stick this down here. I'm not sure if we have plans for Valentine's Day. If I haven't planned it, I don't think we'll have plans. If you get married and then, you know, all the romance and the love goes away, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> or is it just me? I don't know. I don't know. You know, they prove themselves when they're dating, right? They can do these things, but... There, I think that's all I'm going to do with this one. Just one little smudge. All right, so there's our little, our little card and envelope. Cute. I like that. I think someone would really like that if they, they helped you, you know, fix something, of course, right? I think that's neat. All right, let's move this stuff aside. I'm not cleaning up, so I can tell I'm going to get stuff everywhere. Okay, this one, lots of little pieces, Let's see if I remember everything. So I have a little piece for my envelope, I think I'm going to do that right now. So um, this was the paper, the, the free butterfly paper. I have paper in progress, I cut up some DSP, nice. Are you making this card or are you cut loving chopping it to make cards? Love it, chop it. That's Kylie Bertucci's uh, thing to, you know, quit hoarding your paper. Get it out there, love it, and then chop it up and give it out to somebody else. So that's going to be my envelope. I thought that would be kind of a, still gives you room to put a label or something there and your address should be. All right, now on to the card. So this is Pear Pizzazz. And once again, eight and a half by five and a half. Janet turns to everyday romance rather than special occasion. <laughs> yes, maybe that's it. <laughs> everyday romance. <laughs> five and a half scored at two and one eighth. And then you flip it and do two and one eighth again. Okay, so I'm going to 
start with the outside. So I have some basic black as my layer on the outside here. Glue that down. Oh, it's pretty fuzzy. I don't know why, but my paper trimmer does not like my black paper. It, it cuts it really fuzzy. All the other papers it cuts fine, but this black, I don't know, it just leaves little furry bits. Did Valentine treats for my granddaughter a couple weeks ago. Did a, a pick up chocolates for my girls and granddaughter get a toy and grandson gets sippy cups. He's only eight months. Oh yes, that's awesome. I'm making this card using bubble over. Yes, that would be neat. That was a fun set. I used that a lot. Well, you're so sweet, Janet. How, how nice. And it's good. That's so nice that you were able to do all these things while you're not feeling well. So maybe that gave you some time to, to uh, be able to do those things. So sometimes those little um, kinks in the road are sometimes a little bit of a blessing. They slow us down for sure, right? They're not really fun. But <laughs> There's our second layer. Of course, this paper was free. Gotta love free. There. So it just kind of makes a nice little border, that black piece there. Um, the belly band. I'm gonna do my fold around here again. I have the same, you do too, hey? Same problem with the the black. Okay, man. So it's not just me. Um, let's see. Why is this? Looks like it's crooked. I'm just gonna fold that a little bit out, just to give it a little extra room. I don't know. My first card worked perfectly, of course, because nobody was watching when I made it. And now it seems the belly band seems to be pretty tight. So once again, we're gonna put some glue on this little flap, fold it over, line up so everything lines up nicely. Now for this one, I thought I'd get a little fancy. So I've got some basic black, the circle, and then I've got this pearlized doily I was going to put over top. And then I was gonna stamp on here. What were these for? Oh, I think I was gonna make a little piece ribbon cut here. I'm trying to remember my plans, what my big plans were for this. Because I, I do these up on Thursday. So it's you know quite a few days that pass before I get to make these cards. I have to try and remember. I could make notes. <laughs> Probably help me out. Okay. Yep, that looks great. Now I've got a lot of snail here, so I should maybe lay it this way. Okay, so just a little ribbon and that'll go in the middle. So I was planning to put sending prayers on this one with memento. Of course, if you're not sure which way your stamp is going, check it out first on your grid paper. Yep, that looks good. And I was going to kind of do it closer to the top. And then I was going to use these little wood elements that are also free. Free. I love free. Now I'm just using snail. You can use um, the glue dots. You could use the um, multi purpose glue. That's what it's called. 
notes would be what night notes would stifle my creativity wouldn't it stop to write and I, I have to stop and write down like sizes now and whatnot and so yes it does <laughs> oh these go different directions whoops oh well uh, mm -hmm. go like that. and I think it deserves a pearl I haven't used pearls for a few days here. I did get my new shipment in and I do have rhinestones, but I, you know, the pearls have really grown on me. This just looks like, you know, you got your pearl, pearl do, pearlized doilies, just calling for pearls, right? That's what I'm telling myself. This one's upside down. Let's use him up. little piece <laughs> okay I think I'm gonna pop this up with dimensionals just so it's up a tad I'm so excited to see your Sanji that looks that'll look cool so using the, a bottle as the uh, on your belly band I haven't decided yet There we go. Pretty, pretty. I don't know what I had this for. Oh, maybe it's for the inside. I betcha. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to glue this onto the belly band, making sure that you don't put too much glue. So I'll put a little kind of line with my fingernail there and a line with my fingernail there and don't go past. Okay, so now the inside of the card, I'm going to do a little ribbon cut. And I did have a saying here, and it's from Well Said. I do like those little sayings for sure. I didn't get the frameless, the little uh, words, but I think that needs to be on my list to, to get. Because they cut out, you know, cute little words and they fit with the Well Said sayings. And, can't buy everything all the time, eh? Oh. Um, I think I'll put it in the middle. Know that love and prayers and caring surround you today. Isn't that sweet? Then let's glue that on the inside of the card. Love the focal point. Thank you, Great Joyce. Have you done a belly band card before, Joyce? I think I may need to use the framelits because the bottle stamps are really solid. Yes, absolutely. Do you have the you have the framelits? There. What set is the sending prayers from? Well said. Well said, and it is in the occasions catalog. I see a black bit. There we go. Mascara's falling apart. There, I like it. Wasn't sure about these colors, but I'm digging it now. Come, 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 let's get in there. There, that's a little loose. Oh yeah, I like that one. It's very gentle and, ooh, that light's bright. Neat. You do. You have Joyce. Oh, nice. So this will be just a little reminder for you, eh? Give it a try. Sometimes we forget these these old tricks and um, you know things we've done in the past. It's fun to dig out these techniques again. Okay, our last card. I'm using the needlepoint nook um, 
designer series paper. I've got my envelope here. I'll put this, might as well do it now. Get that piece out of the way. Now do I want this, do I want this? I think I want this because, well, yeah, I'll put that. Do on the flap. Love the color combo. The the green and black or the this new one here? This new one's got Blushing Bride and Petal Pink together. Not two colors I would normally pick together, that's for sure. So this will be a little bit different. Definitely softy and romancy. But uh, yeah, give it a try, right? And I mean, these colors are in the flowers on the paper so somebody else thought they looked nice together. I'm going to put my envelope aside for now. I'm going to take this out. So this is Blushing Bride, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at two and one eighth flip, two and one eighth. And then I have my first layer which is measured at, hi bud, oh hi, he's on my feet. Uh, which is scored at two inches by five and three eighths. This is the petal, oop, we're done here. Petal pink. That is one of the colors that I, I saw and I thought, ooh, it's too orangey or something. The green and the black, yeah. It's too orangey. But, man, it goes with a lot of things, surprisingly enough. Probably overdoing it with the snail. <laughs> there. Okay. So it's not, you know, it's not crazy. Oh, that light is terrible. The pink and the petal pink. Uh, the blushing bride and the petal pink. And then for the layer, I'm using this, this one with the little um, flowers. Now this one I cut in an eighth of an inch smaller just so that we could see a little bit more of that petal pink behind. on there so it's uh, one inch by 11 inches I have seen two which I should mention the belly band a little thicker and then it had a piece of de a designer series paper on the inside so it kind of decorated this as well totally up to you now this is in the blushing bride so it's gonna be kind of bring back that pop of the pink Let's make this a little wider so that it sits a little nicer. There. Good. Now we're going to put some glue on this flap. Come back. And close it up. Good. Now, what were my plans for this? Where's this? Oh, oh yes, lots of plans for this one. I saw the scrap. I was gonna use that incredible like you stamp set for this one. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I was gonna do this for, I was gonna use the lines from that stamp set. On the back as a kind of a faint background on this rectangle stitch framelits it is an accent color maybe mm -hmm. let's see so I'm gonna stamp off once because I don't want it to be super super strong 
Oh, I can see it didn't get right there. So I'm just going to pick it up before I take the stamp off and give it a little rub. Ooh, I better hurry. I've got a doctor's appointment at 11. Okay. And for the little flower, I have my little scrap here. And if I don't get it done, I will post a picture on my blog later on. Now I'm going to stamp off once just to make it a little bit more faint. I should be using my foam pad underneath with the polymer stamps. It just stamps a little nicer. Ooh, just faint back there. I can barely see it. I think I'm going to stamp over top with out. I'm going to bubble cut. That just means I'm leaving a little bit of white around the edges. And of course this stamp set, I've been using it a lot, um, comes with a kit that you can make a whole bunch of cards. Okay, I was going to put something like that. And my Highland Heather, I'm going to introduce this color. I don't know if it's going to work, but hopefully it'll be a lot darker than the rest of the colors. Hope your day is amazing as you. Need some greenery, I think. So I will have to locate where I put that stamp set. <laughs> Probably I might have put it away. Anyways, I am go going to finish this card later. Actually, I'll, I'll work on the end or the inside maybe now, and then I will do. do up the rest of the card and post it on my blog. I'll post it on Facebook as well, but oh shoot, I was going to use that side. Anyways, well then let's go this way because the flowers are going that way. Let's make a ribbon cut. Let's go make it like a bookmark. Decisions, decisions. Go from the top. Let's glue that on the inside. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to get those leaves from that Incredible Like You stamp set. Um, maybe put some facing, you know, out this way. And I think that'll make it kind of fun on our belly band. And some pearls. <laughs> All right. So sorry I have to cut it a little bit short today, but I have another doctor's appointment. <laughs> so have a wonderful day, crafting day. And um, I hope to see lots of your projects up somewhere on the Artsy Fartsy Gallery page over the next week. And then we'll draw for somebody to get a little prize. All right. So thanks for joining me, ladies. Just read here. Just to make sure I got everything. Okay. So hopefully we'll see you on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock for Coffee and Cards. Bye.